welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see, the fair is just here on the left and Fantasy Island is just here on the right. Yeah, but welcome back then, guys. Whack us a like and subscribe if you are enjoying the videos. Don't forget, turn that notification bell on. I always forget to say it. But the best thing is about that is it will notify you when my videos do go up. Yeah, as you can hear from Cheeky Blinders, the karaoke's on. It sounds absolutely marvellous. So, well, after talking to uh, a lady I've just met, like, anyway, um, Planet Fun's not open yet. I'm sure it'll be open in the next couple of weeks with it coming up to uh, April. 1st of April, not long now, not... Well, actually, it will be the 1st of April when you see this video. But, yeah. So, we've got Toy Town, Orbs. That's all in there. Unless, I think, no, this Toy Town's new, isn't it? That's where the golfing used to be. Used to be golfing there. So, I wonder what's going in there. Looks kind of good, looks kind of good. I'll have to come down and give it a film when um, everything's open. So, guys, the main bit of this video is Mojitos is the new sport. Well, that was a sports bar, wasn't it? At Bibby's Bar. Now it's called Mojitos. But are named after the drink, of course. So don't forget about the ice cream diners down here and the fish and chips. Good old traditional skeggy fish and chips. Sea brew fish and chips, look, 1962. But there's loads of them. There's absolutely loads. Over here, there used to be an absolutely fan dabba dozy. They used to do a good chicken they did. They used to roast the chickens in the turny thing, whatever it was. Yeah, good chicken that was. Oh, ah. And it used to be like three quid, 350 for a full chicken. Now it's five, six, eight quid. It's so, it's so expensive nowadays for what you used to get back in the day for a uh, quite cheap line. Good old Dave remember the days when we went in here and the bloke went, the bloke said to me, are you local? I says, no mate, I live down the road. <laughs> so uh, yeah, no locals allowed inside the uh, Sun City apparently. What makes a load of, sh well, makes a load of shot really, makes good sense. Um, but yeah, back in me prime time. Here's the uh, Bibby's train, all rides a pound. It goes down to Butlins and back. I'll have to take the train in the summer, actually, thinking about it. You go on the little train, takes you to Butlins, well, for a pound, and then a pound back from Butlins. But it is good. So, guys, this year, I have been told it is £5.90 for a Peroni in the uh, Bibby's Bar. Not, but yeah, is it Bibby's Bar? Bibby's Beach Bar, isn't it? Yeah, Bibby's Beach Bar. It's 5 90 for a pint of Peroni, 4 70 for a Foster's, five pound something for a Strongbow. So it is expensive. Um, well, I think it's expensive. A few people think it's good prices, like, but I think it's a going up and going up and going up, it is. But yeah. Don't forget, they have the reggae bar just down there, the fish and chips on the seafront. They have Belinda doing karaoke. And now, every day of the week, after Belinda's finished, they will have karaoke on in the six weeks after when she finishes inside Bibby's Bar. If that stands, we'll see if that stands, eh? But we'll have a see, we'll have a see. Let's have a look down the beach. Beautiful weather now. The, sun, uh, the sun's... Um, well, it's still behind that cloud over there, but it was chucking it down about 25 minutes ago. Yeah, look at it. Beautiful. 
But like I say, Mojitos is now Bivy's Bar's new name for the sports bar. And it's fantastic inside. I would go in and show you, but it's absolutely amazing inside there now. They've done all the chairs, all the tables, the works on it, the absolute works. Like I say to you, I've got to get inside Butlins, show you what's happening there. They've got the Sky Park now. They've got the Blue Tent, what's just gone up on the side of where it's a one day entry only. But I'm going to get in there and show you around what's new, what's happening. And uh, yeah, show you what's happening, like I say, inside of Butlins. Oh, everyone's coming down when it's cold. Look at that behind us, beautiful. It's Fantasy Island. But yeah, that's it for that video, guys. Anyway, whack us a like, subscribe, show us some love on the uh, Mad Lads page, Mad Lads vlogs, of course. Now, whack us a like, subscribe, like I say. Don't forget that bell button. If you put turn that on, it tells you my videos are out. What's great? Share us on Facebook. Tell your friends, family. Um, when you share stuff on Facebook, sometimes people don't look at it. You know what I mean? So, bit of word of mouth out there. If you said to a friend, oh. Mad Lads Fruits and well, not Mad Lads Fruits Lots anymore, is it? It's uh, Mad Lads Vlogs. It does skeg nesting, emails, whatever, and they might say, oh, I know, I watch him, or you know what I mean? So, be lovely, a bit of word of mouth. Love to say hello to uh, Ryan again, mate. All right, Ryan. <laughs> I saw him the other day, like, but uh, yeah, yeah. I say, I say, I tell you what, mate, I seen your um, thing on uh, YouTube, mate, when you come out the other day, me and your picture. Oh, yeah, I've seen that, mate. Fantastic, it is. Fantastic. So, uh, yeah, you have to send me that picture, mate, on the Mad Lads um, Fruits on Facebook, or I can't remember what it's called now, the my Facebook site. I have to change it to Mad Lads Vlogs, aren't I? But yeah, get that changed up. Get us a message on there, mate, and I'll have to post that picture on there for everyone to see. <laughs> but yeah, we'd love to see everyone again in the summer. Hopefully, see you all. I'm sure I will. And uh, yeah, take care of your little selves. I'm going to go back now because my feet are soaking wet. But yeah. Ah, dear. Hey, I tell you what, the sea's actually quite calm, though, today. I know I keep saying I'm going. I don't know if you can see, actually, just before I go. See you right back there. See them white things in the, right in the distance, but not the first ones, the ones behind. Well, I've been told that the um, wind turbines, as you can see in front of us now, five miles out, well, the ones right behind, if you can just see them, just behind there, are ten miles out. And I don't know if there's any even further than that. So the first ones are five, the second ones are ten. You'll be able to see them in the summer. I can see absolutely tons of them now, but only in this Ingemar's Point. What I got told a few years ago as well is that they have, they well, when they first put the wind turbines up, they didn't actually um, look into it. They just put them in, and loads and loads of birds were getting killed because it was in their flight path. So what they had to do is they had to research all this sort of stuff to see what flight path birds take and everything else. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what I got told. So when you look down Chapel, and you can see right down the bottom there, you can see it, the white bits stop eventually. And that's because, obviously, that's where the birds go. That's what I've been told. That's what I've been told. So when you look from like the beach coma and you don't see any wind turbines, it's because... They're not in the flight path. That's the flight path where birds go. That's what I've been told anyway. I don't, I don't know if I've been told a load of shite. But I like to say, I got told that a few years ago now. But yeah, anyway, I'm going, I'm shushing, and I'll see you on a live video. Um, yeah, it'll be one a week from now, I think, a live video. So we're here. I'll see you soon, guys.